Hello and welcome gorgeous Aquarius to your weekly reading. I hope everyone's doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Let's take a look here at your first card. Remember just to take what resonates from the cards and leave what doesn't, of course. Receiving from your angels, beautiful, shimmering wings of angels embrace me with love. So what I'm seeing for you is that there's a need, there's a need to connect with your angels they're wanting to bring through a message for you they're wanting to bring through a message and if you are already connected into your angels into spirit into the divine continue to do that because there's a message going to come through so clear um, over the next seven days or so for you but there is a need a need at the moment uh, to connect in so strongly with the angels that surround you your guardian angel that is that's around you. Beautiful. Okay. So that's that's an amazing presence to have around you, Aquarius. It really is. This is also a wonderful card, cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life is what it says. You know, this message from your angels, I feel, is going to be about cultivating some type of prosperity. Um, it does seem to be connected here. Abundance into your life, the universe, God, the Holy Spirit, the angels are wanting to bring through abundance into your life, pouring into your life. So this is the message. This is the guidance that your angels are wanting to bring through to you. And of course, if you connect in because there's a need to connect in, there is uh, going to be more specific messages for you through your own intuition um, but this is a stunning message from the Holy Spirit, from angels, from your angels um, coming through. Get ready to receive this abundance. Get ready to receive prosperity. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. This one here is yours. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. Okay, so... There is something you've been holding on to in your heart, holding on to maybe physically, that it's it's time to let go. It's time to surrender. Maybe surrender worry or surrender um, something uh, mental anguish that you've been holding on to. It's time to surrender and to release any control that you have because perhaps the situation that you're going through, there isn't a lot of control and it's in God's hands. You know, there's a, a sense here of you wanting to um wanting to hold on but in fact it's holding you back solitude in silence peace prevails so this week there is a need for solitude and i feel this is coming through for you because of this need to connect into your angels connect into spirit so this would be through meditation it would be through visualization it would be through Connection into spirit in whatever way that feels right for you, but do it in a in a way that is sincere, in a way that is structured. Um, so that would be daily or um, a routine is what I'm seeing. A routine for this silence to to allow these messages from spirit to come through to you. Yes, I love this. Of course, Aquarius, you have abundance in your life. It's, it came through here with cultivating prosperity. You're planting seeds at the moment or you're going to have an opportunity to plant seeds at the moment for your own prosperity and abundance. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful abundance coming through for you, pouring in. This abundance for some may be connected to romantic love. When the timing is right, this romantic love will come through, Spirit's telling me, or a reconnection is possible. And um, for others, if romantic love doesn't resonate, this is love in terms of a passion that you have for something. A hobby, a skill, education, something is coming up very soon for you. If not, it's already in your life. Something you love is going to be created, something you're passionate about. 
Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aquarius. This is the Pine Spirit Purification. It's about releasing, detoxification, decluttering, also pure thoughts, purification of thoughts and your mental space is important because it's right below surrendering. So surrendering that worry, that anxiety, you have to purify your space or purify your mind. That needs to be a... Um, that needs to be a consideration. It needs to be a conscious decision this week for you. Bluebell Fairy, gratitude. So this I feel is, um, this is going to be very powerful to meditate on. The attribute, the energy of gratitude. Have gratitude. Maybe mantra toward gratitude would be helpful. But just holding gratitude, having a grateful heart while you meditate is yeah, very powerful with these two cards connected. So let's see what this deck reveals Aquarius. Okay, this one's jumping. So let's start with this one. The Queen of Autumn. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative. And it should be followed precisely. So I feel this is an instruction. So you could be learning. You might be a student or you might be giving instruction. As well, it could be vice versa. Uh, might be with a family member or children, perhaps. But you're, um, there's a give and a take in this situation. There's, um, there's, a, there's a give, there's a teaching, you could say. But there's also, there's also receiving as well. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. So that really um, connects back into the purification um, and the releasing of control or negative forces around you. The Eight of Spring. You've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this may feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you. And yes, there is definitely going to be a blessing that heaven sends you. Um, yes, amazing energies here. Get ready to receive this. Um, so there might be a flurry of activity. There might be a lot going on this week in your life. It might even be feel stressful. But there's there's actually opportunities that will come from these uh, from the circumstance that might feel stressful um, and release control as well. Maybe the stress is coming from wanting to control. The two of autumn. You may be under stress. So we have this message again. So yes, there may be some stress going on. Because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. So it might be that for you. It's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. The Ten of Autumn. Contentment comes from knowing that your finances are secure and your family's material needs are taken care of. It's important to honor traditions and have pride in your heritage and the accomplishments of your ancestors. So we, in fact, we have ancestor energy or someone in spirit. In fact, it may be your guardian angel, maybe a passed over loved one, actually. So see if that resonates for you, because I do sense that for someone um, the Ten of Autumn is also speaking of um, efforts that you have put in in the past going to pay off for you. OK, so place that in what area of life that is for you. Where have you put a lot of effort and energy and time into? Is it your relationship? Is it is it your work and business? Um, well, it's going to pay off and it's going to be very um, abundant for you. Thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution. But meditation and prayer will bring the answers you seek. Yes, exactly. Exactly a confirmation of the energy so far. We have meditation, gratitude, meditation, but also solitude, peace and silence will bring through the messages from spirit. So prayer, meditation will bring through the answers you seek. Definitely. 
and the king of autumn right below the ten of autumn it does speak of that abundance um, the effort you've put in paying off everything's going to turn out great projects will be stunningly successful will be stunningly successful exciting new career opportunities are possible and money or resources that come your way will be invested wisely now spirit might be speaking of an investment paying off for you with this card um, an investment financially, monetary uh, wise, it might be an investment in a relationship, but whatever this actually is for you, it does look like it's going to pay off for you. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you would like to ask spirit through the pendulum, then you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So of course, check in with your intuition and see how this answer resonates with your question. I hope spirits come through clearly for you today and you understand the messages that they're wanting to bring through. I hope everyone has a fantastic week. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.